Come get ready with me while I tell you about Travis Fimmel asking me out. I've lost my beauty blender, so fingers it is. So, I was in work the other night. So the chef had finished work and he was like, right Emer, I'll see you later. I thought he went away home. He comes running back into the bar and he's like, pour me a pint, pour me a pint. So I'm like, why? He says, Travis Fimmel is outside. And I was like, Travis Fimmel, I've never heard of this boy in my life. So these two boys walk in anyway. Chef's gone mad, like, huge fan apparently. Everyone sits down anyway. And that was okay, I didn't have time to go look up who Travis Fimmel was. So they all sit down anyway. And this boy Travis comes up to the bar to order a drink. And to be fair, the man, like, he, he's stunning, like. He had these, like, ocean blue eyes. This, like, longish hair, beard, and he had, like, a scar on his face. So he like orders a drink and all in his Australian accent and all and I'm like, I'm like, okay. So that's okay, I go to take for his drink at the till. And he's in the bar like 20 minutes at this stage. He still had his hat on, his coat, his scarf and everything on. So I turn around and I was like, Jesus boy, you not warm. I turn around and he has the hat off him, he has the coat off him, the scarf. I'm like, oh, I know how to work this boy. So a couple hours passed. I go to the table. All, all the men are pretty full at this stage. So I go around them individually, like asking them, did they want a drink? Uh, I turn around and I was like, chef, do you want another drink? And then other men said, do you want a drink? And then it came to Travis. And I was like them, I said, Travis, do you want another drink there? And he says, no, 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 I'll only piss the bed. And I was like, <laughs> and he was like, oh, don't worry, I won't get any on you. I was like, you can get anything you want on me, Travis. I couldn't propose there and then, so I just sort of walked away. So Travis then needed to go to the toilet. I, like I walked away and I was sort of like, eh, didn't, I didn't say anything after he said that. So he turned around to me and he was like, here, sorry if I sounded a wee bit uh, out of order then. I, I, didn't, I didn't mean it. And I was like, oh, don't worry, no, like no need to apologize and all. And um, Travis was like, what are, you, what are you doing after work? And I was like, um, no plans. And he was like, we're going to this place. Sure, come meet up with us and I'll get you a drink. <laughs> okay. This was like an hour later and it was our closing time and the boys were no foot state. Like the chef was ordering them drinks all night because he's such a liquor. There was no chance they were even making it to the bar. So he was in the bar like the week after and he was like, is this all you do for a living? And I was like, no, no, no. I'm in the gym as well, blah, blah, blah. blah. I was like, oh, what is it you do again? This buy that has a net worth of like couple million. This buy that was the first Gavin Klein model to make six figures. This buy one of the main characters of a Netflix series. And I was like, what is he doing? <laughs> so he drinks in the bar all the time, the bar that I work at. To be continued. I also need to check to see if Beyonce is still up for lunch tomorrow in Dubai. So yeah, I'll keep you all updated on how all that goes. Bye.